In this episode I'm going to show you how to calibrate the power meter, an ATM 90E26 and uh, how I quickly put it together. The, the build won't be in complete detail but I'll show you how you can do a rough calibration to get it into a, a ballparky figure using some simple stuff that you could have around the house. Let's get into it. Alright you can see I've got a couple different models depending on what I want to achieve. Now this is my very first one that I've built. Now this is the one that you've seen pretty much in all the videos up till now. And I've used these shrouded type power connectors to, you know, make it a bit safer. This model here uses these 4mm plugs, but this model this model here is is actually what I really want to, I wanted to build because it displays certain things that I need to know fast. So that's the story behind these two models. I'll open one up and I'll uh, give you a quick breakdown of how it looks inside. Alright, so I've 3D printed the front. So it does have this bit of a rugged edge, but as I still consider this in prototyping stage, I will uh, change the uh, thickness of the print when, or uh, well, the thickness of the layer when I print it again and uh, I've decided against using the knob because I found it's going to be irrelevant so I'm going to take that out when I reprint the cover or the, you know, the face plate so I've done a lot of 3D printing of enclosures before and they're always a bit of a pain so I thought I'm going to go with a different idea of just getting it off the shelf one and rather than you know trying to cut out holes within the covers I just 3D print the cover with the holes already in it, so that way uh, saves me all that time trying to you know make it perfectly square, and you know that's how I got this to be all perfect. All right, now if you look inside just quickly, I've got a PT, I've got a CT, so that measures the volts, that measures the current. This side are just voltage divider circuits. Uh, that's a voltage divider circuit. This one here is um, pretty much the same thing. But what it does is I've got current passing through these resistors and it drops voltage across it and I measure the voltage that's dropped and it's proportional to the current. All right, so if you've followed the previous videos, you'll see I've made a, uh, an, adapter, an adapter board or PCB that takes the energy metering IC board and I can put it on an UNO. So there's an UNO right under there. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to calibrate one of these roughly. Now the easiest solution I could come up with to do a, you know, a rough calibration of the device is using an incandescent globe or a halogen globe. You can't use uh, fluorescent ones or LEDs as they have uh, reactive components in them. So what that would do is that would shift the angle where you, you, you want just a straight current and voltage that you can calculate out. So uh, that's why this one would come in, come in handy. All right, so this is a 40 watt, uh, 240 volt globe. So it's 240 to 250 at 40 watts. That's what it says on the top. I don't know if that's gonna show up. But um, if I use that and calculate out what the current should be, if I use Ohm's law and I can calculate out what the current will be at 40 watts at 245 volts, um, we can get the current. To get the voltage, I'll simply use mains power against a multimeter. Current is the hard one, voltage is the easy one, but bear in mind this is dangerous, so if you haven't got the qualifications or the skill to be working with electricity, you need to reconsider even doing it. All right, let's get into it. What I've done is I'm hooked into the mains via my voltage probes, which is just off the screen. Maybe I can just pan up just to show you quickly. So I've got them into the power point socket I've switched it on mind you everything is insulated so everything is fine but like I said if you're not um, you're not confident to, in doing this do not attempt it simple as that all right so I'm measuring the same source now bear in mind the sample rates are different on these two so they're a bit off but um, that's how I'll, I'll set the voltage circuit up basically and I'll show you on the computer in the uh, previous video I've done where I've talked about the library that I've used for the ATM90E26 there is a link to 
the download files. Now if you go into the GitHub, you can get all these. So this Excel document, this is telling me uh, how to set up the register, how to set up the calibration. Now what I'll do is I'm going to, this is currently what it's set to now, so what I'm going to do is change it out a bit and I'm going to show you the effect of what actually happens when you upload it. So I'll make this 51.4, or yeah, I'll make this 51.4. Now see how it's changed it to 7F4D. Now over here, I've used Notepad++. Now U gain is voltage, so I'll change that to 7, 7F4D. Now this is, this is in hex, so you know. I save it. Got to be in, you have to be in admin mode. Alright, hit save. Now you go. You need to upload the sketch. I'm just making sure I'm uploading the right thing. Yep, so upload the sketch. Alright, now I've just skipped ahead to when it's uploaded. Now if I open up Serial Monitor, what's it going to do? It's going to read me back. Oh, I've got an error. This says I've got an error on checksum too. So 539B. Now 539B has to go in here. 539B. So if I change that to 539B. Hit save. Close that down. Bring up that. Upload once again. Open it again. Hasn't got a problem. So if I just type in dump, it gives it to me. Tell me what's happened. So if I look at the device I'm testing. Alright, now I've put it through and I've changed it a bit. This is reading 235.9. This is reading 235.0, 235.9. So the, the sample rates will affect it. But. So to say on ballpark, you, the more you play with it, the, the closer you can get. But I, I had my original calibration in this is based on 63 volts. So that's where I'm going to go with it. But you will probably want 230, 240 or 110 and, um, if you're using mains, measuring mains devices. But uh, you'd probably set it around that. But now I'll show you how to do the globe. When you're hooking up to measure the current, what you need to consider is that you're measuring the current that's gone through this CT, and then the voltage, you have to measure the voltage across the load. So bear that in mind. So you can't just measure the voltage across this CT terminal because uh, it's going to be zero because it's only a short bit of wire you're going to measure the voltage across. You need to measure the voltage across the whole circuit. So consider that when you're setting up for it. Alright, now, I've cheated and used a Variac. But, um, if you're just using straight up main supply and you're passing an appliance through it, or you're passing your calibration globe through it, what you need to take into account is the difference um, in voltage from what the appliance is supposed to be run at to what it is running at. Now that globe told me it's between 240, 240 to 250 at 40 watts. So I equals P over V. So the current equals the power divided by the voltage. So that would equal, uh, what's that, 0.17. So I've got 0.16 in here. So if you follow that same method that I just showed you with the voltage, you can do that with the current. That's how you set your current. All right, any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, check out my other videos, or um, come back next time.